Okay, so my name is Chloe, and I've been seeing a lot of people doubting these bits. I have no idea why, but none of these bits are harsh unless used in a harsh way. This one I really have no idea why people are bad mouthing. It's just an O ring snaffle with twisted wire. O ring snaffle only has one only uses one part of the body, which is the mouth. It puts pressure on the tongue, and only pressure on the tongue. Some people think that it puts pressure on the pole. It does not put pressure on the pole. Personally, I like this bit. It's a tom thumb. It's a long shank one. So, every time you put pressure on the shanks, it puts pressure on the mouth and pole and chin. Which some people think that's harsh, but when it puts pressure on the mouth, it kind of puts pressure like this to make it more, to make the horse respond to it better. I found this out by a horse dentist. I might want to speak his name, but because I really don't remember his name. But he told me that this bit was the best bit to use when I had a horse. It had no brakes, which my mare has brakes, but not with an O-ring. This is like my favorite bit, because it puts pressure on the nose, mouth, and chin, and pole. I use this bit on my barrel mare. If you have a soft handed horse, I'd recommend getting a Martha, Martha Joe's smaller shank bit. This is the large shank one. But I think it's like this long. It's like $40 or 30 something dollars. I don't know, I'll have to look in that. But I ain't got my computer out here because this is like my pack room. But. For the most part, it's not really wrapped, and I'm going to wrap it one day, just really haven't had time. But, this one ain't really a Martha Josie's one, this is a showman one. My friend has a Martha Josie one, somewhere. Here's hers, which you can see it has the dog bone in it. Personally, I don't really care if it has a dog bone in it or not. I mean, any bit's gonna be horse if you got rough hands. But this bit, you cannot have rough hands with. And it has the same action. When I pull on these shanks, the nose band tightens. The chin strap tightens, and it puts pressure on the pole. It does not make, it does not give the horse's head a cue to go up, and the nose band pushes the head down. It does not do that. All it does, it's basically a bit that if you have rough hands, you do not need it. I was told by the person that I bought it from, which is a local store here in West Tennessee. If you're in West Tennessee, you know what I'm talking about. But, I bought it from there. They told me that if I have rough hands, I do not need this bit. Well, what I was riding my mare in before was the Tom Thump. This one's a long shank one. I had her in a short shank before this one. But, I was training to do barrels, and she's a hot-headed mare. She likes to go. So, I went and got one of these. I went and got this. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. But anyways, you can find them on Facebook. Any of these bits. People on Facebook say that they're not 
good bits, in my opinion. I personally love them. Obviously, that's it, the O-ring snaffle. I don't like an O-ring snaffle. Also, I'm going to address one more thing. I don't have a hack of one because personally, I don't like them. But a pike nose hackamore can break a horse's nose. I've seen it done, and it was not with my own horse. But if you're not careful with them, they can break a horse's nose. And yes, they are horse. If used in the wrong hands, any bit can be used in the wrong hands. I've actually seen a horse open its mouth. With a ring snap on its mouth. Yeah, that's being pretty harsh. But, bye y'all. And I'm sorry I had to use your bit. You know who you are. Thank you.